Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and this is the legendary Iron Man Army of Two run where we are trying to beat the game with only two and two soldiers only. It's been pretty good but this time we have a hard challenge up ahead of us. It is time for a supply raid with the side trap below profile. And that is uh, another way of uh, the game telling us, uh, please F off, I don't like you. Because that here is not doable. I don't think that this mission is actually winnable. We have um, no sergeant, we have uh, no corporal that we could use. So we're going in with uh, squaddies here. And the game assumes that we would have six soldiers and somewhat make our way through it uh, just by brute forcing it with uh, six sergeants. But I can reassure you there is a huge difference between six sergeants in a mission and two squaddies. Anyways, I just wanted to kind of set, set the expectation for this mission because I really and truly don't believe that this is going to happen. However, if I'm getting my ass kicked, we might as well do it in a stylish uh, fashion and have some fun during uh, the whole process. We are going to go in with Dark Tower Noxus and Praetor Mox. Um, if anything, if we lose uh, Praetor here, we're going to get a high level replacement, which might be not too bad because we haven't used uh, the, um, uh, the Skirmisher class at all so far. Good, and with that, let's start the mission. For those of you who haven't uh, subscribed, if I'm pulling off this mission, you owe me a subscription. For those of you who have subscribed already, um, enjoy how I'm getting my ass kicked, because this mission here is just going to be pure masochism. I love it. It's the type of mission where you know you're going to lose South Africa. It's just a question how bad is it going to be. We know there's at least one Archon, there's at least one Mac, and there's at least one Cody C, so reasonable amount of uh, mechanical units. Um, we know there's a lot of advent, most likely, and I can only assume the reason why it is classified as very difficult with only 11 um, enemies in it is because we're going to run into the alien ruler. Mind you, it's going to be a hilarious experience to fight the Archon with only two squaddies. Uh, that would probably go just as well as it sounds, specifically since uh, the Skirmisher as a class uh, can take two shots and the Archon can react to every single one of them having a bonus action. So it's going, just going to be great overall. Oh, look at that. We at least got lucky and got Paul Walker here. Um, so yeah, I don't, still don't think that three people is going to be remotely enough to pull this off. But what do I know about this game? Yep, that's two packs of enemies right there at the entrance. Perfect, lovely. Not going to use the grappling hook. Instead, let's just move up. The barn is a pretty interesting place to fight at. I just generally like its layout. And high ground doesn't hurt either. Okay, we could grapple up here and take shots. Yeah, they. the only problem with both of them is uh, they seem to have a lot of armor. Hmm. Which we might be able to circumvent uh, with a nice little acid bomb here. Question is, if we're using it now, will it bite us in the ass uh, later? For instance, when we're fighting against the Andromedon, which we have already seen over there. We really need the acid bomb for the Andromedon just to, to scratch and pierce its armor. Don't have any other grenades. Too 
for. So let's get into a pretty nice position here. Moving a bit away, which isn't the worst. So far, they are quite a bit separated. Just trying to position ourselves well so we can deal with them. Moving quickly. Roger. To be honest, I wasn't expecting that they would be moving away. But since we're not on the timer, I, I really like to get the engagement right. Apparently, those guys are on a patrol. Which, on the other hand, means if they are on a patrol, that implies that there are more patrols right around here. Which then again assumes we just need to wait for one. I know, it's not the most exciting uh, game style, but uh, I wanted to give it the most serious shot that I had. And I think that having a good Overwatch trap might at least be able, uh, uh, might as well allow us to bring down one of the enemy packs. All right, come on, someone, please. So there's another side over here. Moving. On my way. Wait, what? Oh, they just haven't moved. Sneaky little bastards. Get it done. That's okay. We're spotting out the other side. Move into position. Roger that. On Overwatch, it is under fire. Oh, surprise. Again, no one within the barn. I knew it. I knew it. Once uh, they uh, feel like okay. you're going away, that's uh, that's their window of opportunity. Tactical movement. There we go. I will go. I will watch. Overwatch, Overwatch, and Overwatch. Let's see. If they spot us out, there's a good chance that we are at least going to do uh, knock down one of them. Yeah, that's going to be a trigger. They are going to see mocks on top of the building. Or not. Um, okay.
Hmm. I mean, I am surprised. That's Overwatch. If they go just a bit further away, or a bit further to the south, they should be able to see us. Well, that's even a better position, because the Purifier can't really do shit when he's not close. Oh, beautiful. Okay, so we are going to trigger them now. Here we go. I said the first shot, and I'm trying to hit them and kill them without using consumables, really. He's overwatching, that's okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so that's too far away for the purifier to hit us, but we can still see the heavy mech. And the reason why this was important is he has tactical analysis, and that means he can only take one step. Moving downstairs into full cover. And we're starting to injure him. And there's the burning. We want to get rid of burning, so we are effectively just gonna not shoot with uh, Prato. That's a flanking position here. That's one group down. Praetor will just hunker down. That's fine. I am expecting that we're going to lose more than just a bit of life. So this was to be expected. Everyone moves. Just a tiny bit. Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Bit of overwatching here. Next round we're going to reload and overwatch. Let's do this. Good to go. On Overwatch. Okay, we know their next pack is somewhere over there. Oh gosh, that's a difficult one. At least we hit them hard. That's good. So this here might as well be a one-shot kill. Yeah, let's take that. Of course, it wasn't a one-shot kill, but it's good enough. The reason why I say it's good enough is 
we're trading Pradelmox's um, initiative with uh, basically a kill over there. We're now looking at the Dromedon. This here should pretty much hit it and get rid of all of its armor. Or does it? Grenades angles with uh, with uh, the acid grenade are weird. So let's get into full cover first. I like it. Nice and far away. And this here definitely is going to hit him. Completely shredded. That's a dangerous move because we don't know if there is another pack over here. There might be. So instead, since we only have nine hit points, how about how about we go up here? Like far enough away so that he can't use his AoE attack Moving. and in half cover so that the soldier here is the most uh, likely soldier to get hit. And with high ground, we've done a pretty good job. It seems to be fleeing. Which is interesting. Position confirmed. Again, moving into full cover. Still up. Continuing to take all of his cover away. Yeah, we're a bit in a tricky spot here. The problem with Praetal is he's already triggered and Praetal doesn't deal enough damage to one-shot him. And I don't like the idea of Praetal being caught out of position, so might as well jump down. We still have the grappling hook. So that's an overwatch here as well. There's the next... Patrol right there. Okay, as long as no one moves, we're not going to get poisoned. I take a new approach. Yeah, pretty uh, pretty exposed position up here. Need to be really careful. Reloading, overwatching, reloading, overwatching, reloading, overwatching. Overwatch, overwatch, and overwatch. We're waiting until the asset is gone.
And under we got our grappling hook again. Which is right now. Okay, Paul Walker is going to be our scout. Still sticking in full cover. There's an Archon back here. And Paul has a beautiful opening. Just firing this weapon like a professional. Love it. 13 points of damage, falling damage, shredding on top of it. I guess the aliens haven't considered that standing right next or on top of an explosive, uh, explosive is not a clever idea. Still got the blaster bomb. Finish them if need be. So far, this mech here should be dead. We can hit it. That's one hit. Yeah, we don't want to just punch uh, the purifier. Ah, so close. I wanted to make sure that we're not using too much of our resources. Unfortunately, we are. I, will, uh, I want to make 100% sure that we can kill these guys here. Seven to 10 damage. We will kill the mech and we're going to shred the purifier. Don't care about destroyed loot. All I care about is that we're not getting killed. Let's eliminate the officer first, because we're missing the shot. This here will probably trigger the overwatch shot. Luckily he missed, that's good. Because that gives us some time for a justice punch. Come here. And die. Good job. He burns. We take from the elder is gone. Fifty-five percent chance to hit him. We have a, an option for high ground. No, we don't. No, we do not. I'm afraid to go any closer. I think this here is uh, still the best position that we could get. It's a 50-50 to eliminate it. Let's see if we can make it. Yep, worked like a charm. So, we have triggered a pack of two, which we killed. We've then, that was mech plus um, soldier. We then triggered a pack of two, which we almost killed. Mech down, Andromedon halfway down, but no more armor. And we now killed a pack of three. Which means two, four, seven, eleven overall. So still a bit to go. Waiting for the grappling hook. We have no more 
consumables, so we're pretty much on our own here. We already saw an Archon, like back there. Is there anyone coming and running into our Overwatch trap? Oh, come on. Anyone? I think we ran out of patrols. Problem is, from now on, we do have no. We do no longer have any form of um, cover removal or any form of grenades. We are out. That's affirmative. Plain and simple. Alright, overwatching. Uh, so that's three plus two plus one down, so six down, five to go. One of them is injured. On the move. Not the best odds. I think from here it's gonna go a bit downhill. To be quite honest. I'm on it. I await their I'm on it. Let's Hitting see. Is this your spotting out someone? No. We already know that there is one pick or that there was one pick over there. By the way, it's also a tower for high ground, so we might want to go. We might want to go there. Good copy. Moving on I think tight. it's a smart idea. Scanning. No trespassers. Headed there now. On my way. I can already feel something is very wrong here. It's way too quiet. Whenever XCOM 2 is silent, there is something going on. Like, aliens usually are preparing some nasty surprise. There we go, that's pack. Hello there, lovely. Moving out. Okay, let's try to get the Andromedon first. Pretty good hit, I like it. We might be able to move in, take a hit, grapple out and overwatch. It's probably the best idea. Uh, it didn't work out as, as I would have planned it. Oh wait a second! Haha, <laughs> with that I moved. I I am, I am an idiot. I'm sorry. I was somehow thinking about lightning hands. Complete brain fog. So this here is going to be a big fat psionic bomb next turn. Might as well use our time to somewhat get the undread down. This. At least that worked. OK, 
Okay, they keep their distance, which is good. Teleport into Psionic Bomb. Yeah, I figured that that might happen. Luckily, only two of them were fitting in. Okay. Not the worst. Utilizing hook. Grappling up here. Reloading. That won't be enough to kill it. So we're dealing with a shell next. hope that we can kill the shell. Very nice. Okay, so Dromedon down. The Archon is still a pain in the ass. Back and reload. Next up, the Cortex, uh, Cortex needs to die. Archon is a problem. Oh wow, blazing pinions. Nice little overwatch. I like it. The AI thinks it has us under control, but it doesn't. We're going to take a low ground position. This here is just out of explosion range. Codex is going to be taken down. All of uh, the cover here will disappear anyways. I want to get the Codex. There we go. Okay, cool. At least only the Archon. Oh shit, we, we were in explosion range. I misjudged that. Could have gone anywhere else but there. But to be honest, it doesn't make much of a difference because he hits for 9 anyways. So, that mistake did not make a difference. In terms of tanking, he will eventually go into melee. Might as well move a bit closer so we can actually hit it. It is dodging and on the other hand, on the upside it's burning. A bit of repositioning here. burning so that's that's the good news three damage maybe come on nice it missed where's the damage it's burning it is mother effing burning where is the damage reload and High ground. Another dodge. Let's 
reload and come on Ooh, holy moly lovely so well, that means nine enemies are down nine enemies are down only two left we already know it's not an alien um, chosen one but it might be an alien ruler which if it is the Archon King we are majorly screwed surprisingly enough we only lost one soldier so far So let's advance. Slow and steady wins the race. Got it Trying to go for that other high ground position there. On the move. I don't like the half cover. Not a thing of it. But we have nothing else left. It's only half cover from here on. Until we reach that tower. You can see... Stone by stone, we're advancing. To that position. Attacking on side. I don't even know how to respond if it is the Archon King. Probably going to die. Roger that. As you command. Well, we're not going down without a fight, I can tell you that much. Nice, 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 nice. Let's get into the tower. High ground. Perfect. Move into position. Overwatch. Okay. Oh shit. Oh my lord. It's an Archon King and an Archon. But I think we're not going to survive that. 35 points of damage. Okay. Yeah, wow. Well. Okay, let's hope that we hit him and, st and it starts burning. Missed. 85% and we missed. I don't want to just norm take normal shots. He needs to be burning in order to have meaningful damage. So let's overwatch. Enemy fire on my position. Devastate will hurt like crazy. Grappling hook is not ready yet. What the flip am I supposed to do? So, at least half the damage. Menace one five. Watch those supply crates. If you destroy them, there won't be anything left for us to recover okay. once the area is secure. Come on, uh, alien king. Here we go, baby. Nice, 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 nice. Burning. Good job. It's trying to grab one of our people. Don't let it take Yeah, yeah we can't help him. 
it's obviously grappled. It's going to be a nice little smash in the ground. Not sure if Mox is going to survive that. I hope that the ruler continues to take damage. Somewhat burning didn't real, really do any damage to um, to the other Archon. Pretty sure they are not immune against fire. So game has come to a standstill. Apparently the AI needs to realize that Praetor can't really do anything. I wish Praetor could fire his weapon, but he can't. So, end of turn. Alright buddy, what are we looking at? Well, that was not too bad. Well, that on the other hand was pretty bad. Another two points of damage. Come on. Crit him. Pretty, pretty solid damage. One burning. More burning damage. We can't justice punch him. We're not going to go down without a fight. One more burning. Come on, miss him. Don't do anything. Don't you? No. Oh, yeah. Alright. No! No! <laughs> he missed him. Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> Oh yeah. Good work out there, people. I am eager to begin examining the sun as soon as we can get it back to the lab. We might as well take advantage of Dr. Valen's existing experiments, as I have no intention of trying to replicate them myself. Yeah. Prazel, we're going to miss you. It's pretty rough not having you around. I'm going, not gonna lie. Oh, that's not good. This here is putting some cover between us. He is burning. He's taking some extra damage. One more hit. Come on, miss, please, buddy. Holy shit. Take fire over here. 80%. That's not enough. Can we somewhat get upstairs? No, we can't. Can we do something else? High ground, anything. Hmm. Eighty percent. It's just too much defense. I wish we could go up here and hit it. Is there any cover in between it? It's really just defense. Archons don't benefit from cover. Should have answered my own question. Anyways, reload and let's get this party started. Come on! Nine damage. Ooh, that's it. Did I just beat the mission? Oh my god. Wow. Holy crap. I don't believe that that's a poor rating. Just believe uh, that that
that was an extremely close mission. One that I shouldn't have won. <laughs> oh my gosh, we killed the alien ruler. And 10 other enemies with two squaddies. Well, rest in peace, Pratelmox. You will not be forgotten. So close. Hitting uh, the alien ruler, he dodges, minimum damage, I think we're screwed. And then he just basically takes uh, another uh, burning damage. Pretel, first mission, 14 kills. Oh, that was just from the um, other mission. And Dark Tower Noxus finally got the Shredder promotion. Well, good job, buddy. I don't think that you're going to see action again, but with 26 kills and two missions, Having I think another of Dr. Ballen's <sighs> you did your fair sh uh, share. An autopsy as soon as possible. By following her own research notes, it is my hope that we will uncover Okay, once the shotguns are done, we can start researching the Archon King. So good. I'm happy, guys. I am really, really happy. I was thinking that we're going to lose Africa, but we're standing strong, stronger than ever. Avenger plotting new course. Can't believe that we pulled it off. That is surreal. All right, shotguns deal plus one point of damage. Fantastic, Archon King. Five days. Lovely. Pleased with the research advances we've made so far. The Archon suit will make so many things so much easier. Some of our people are a little worse. And look at that, we got another thirteen ability points. Health permanently increased by one. Ah, very, very good. Let's see what we got. We could get another Reaper. Interestingly enough, that's not available. We wanted to continue getting her. Problem is 14 days is long and willpower. Mm. Health, not too bad. Oh, look at that. Six dodge. I think we're going to do that. Um... Yeah, not a big fan. Mobility plus one is okay. Um, all Western armor completed instantly. No, nope, that's not needed anymore. Yeah, that's okay, but nine days is also a little bit long. So not the most spectacular uh, mm, missions. Let's start with dodge and then we're probably going to hunt down the chosen one. Although, wait a second. We might want, for once, we might want to um, go and actually fight the chosen next. We really might want to do that next. And after that's done, we can put someone back on the missions. Or in the meantime, we could do this mission here because the four willpower will not move the needle for any of our soldiers. Might as well give Mitch a chance to, to level up. Yeah, all the low-level soldiers here uh, can can start um, 
gaining some experience, we really don't need the four willpower. And I think what we are going to do in the meantime. Our specialty. Let's just hope your people can keep up. Yeah, we will have enough time to actually do the other mission as well with the dodge. What we are going to do in the meantime is we are preparing for the chosen one. If we look at the training center. Let's get our dream team the highest bond. And that's the only thing that's in my perspective missing. So bond training six days. So after the six days we can go in and uh, start going for the uh, Warlock. High level. Are you shitting me? They needed to find us. Oh come on! We should get ready. If history is any indication, this won't be easy. Oh come! Oh. Why? Why? Why now? In <sighs> Thirty-one enemies, really? All right, guys. That's going to happen in the next mission. I need first need to express my dissatisfaction with it. Normally, they always. They always attack you at the end of the month, but apparently the Warlock can wait. He just wants to get in there. Okay, good. Guess who has an upgraded defense matrix, bitch? All right, that's me. Your boy, Psycho. Anyways, it has been a pleasure. Uh, let's not get uh, too carried away. It is what it is. We're, we're just going to kill him one more time, and then we're going to um, raid his Sanctum. Could have done it without the upgrade, yeah. Whatever, I I missed that piece of it. Don't forget to subscribe and give me um, and give me a comment. And even if it's just rest in peace, Praetor Mox, he has given his life to save South Africa. Don't you ever forget about that. Take care and have a great evening. Bye bye.